InterVision's Outer Triumphs, I think that that's life. I mean, at its most basic, beautiful level, I think that, you know, having a strong sense of self and being able to really envision um, who you are and, and what you want to be, what, what light you want to portray and exude to the rest of the world, I don't think that you, you can live to your fullest potential without having that strong vision. I mean, you really do have to have a strong inner vision in order to have any sort of level of triumph. Uh, my name is Sarah Close, and I don't really have a place I call home right now, but I have a home base, and it's Boulder, Colorado. I grew up not doing really any sports at all. I was a dancer, and and I thought I was going to be a very serious dancer. Very, I wanted to be a professional dancer, and. Uh, and that was my life. I mean, it, it's, it is a sport, I guess, in a way, but to me, it's always just, it's been definitely more of an artistic pursuit than an athletic pursuit. Um, and I think that that's, that quality of artistry and, and the aesthetic nature of something has translated over into the sports that I do now. Um, it has to have cool movement in order for me to want to do it. I have to be able to like feel the lines and feel the, feel my body moving in a, in a really cool, stretchy, deep way. Um, and that's, I think that's, that, that goes through every single one of my sports. I love like, you know, when you're dancing, it's all about the dynamics, right? So it's slowing things down, it's finding height, it's finding that moment of suspension. And I think when you're, when you're climbing and you're going for a really strong, you know, strong move or when you're catching a wave or, or, you know, paddling, whatever it is, you know, there's those dynamics that I, I still find in it and it feels very dancey to me. I'm still learning and I'm still growing and figuring out what my purpose is here on this planet, but I know the moments that I feel most alive are the moments that I feel like I can give back the most. So I think it's this, it, to me, I just always feel like it's this cycle of taking care of myself and inspiring myself physically and putting myself in landscapes that, that um, encourage me to grow and and to 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 give back to other people that that translates into the work that I do I had a really good friend once make me take on the New Year's resolution to do things out of love instead of out of fear and that was 2008 and it's still my New Year's resolution every year because it's hard and I think a lot of times, you know, you go through like making decisions and it, and it is a good question to ask yourself, if, am I doing this out of fear and out of what could happen and, and am I guarded, do I have a wall up or am I, am I doing it out of love, am I open to, to the fullest that the situation could become. Um, so that's a theme as well because I think that that really translates into work. I, I want to have really open, solid communication, um, inspiring, growing work situations. And I totally believe that that's possible for everybody, so I want to be able to help more people achieve that.